Moments at Forney High School today after the sound of gunfire echoed on the campus concerns us every single time we talk about something like this. JD Miles is there, live right outside the school. I know you've, uh, as best you can so far, talked to authorities. What are you hearing regarding what happened? Well, Doug, we know that authorities are inside. They are still on the scene here. In fact, I'm going to step out of the way so you can see what's going on. There's DPS trooper patrol cars you can't see in the parking lot here. Just a few minutes ago, there was a line outside that front door, and that's where parents were being called to pick up their kids. Uh, no student was allowed to be released unless they were accompanied by a parent or guardian. We know that authorities are inside the school, which uh, was sealed off until just a few minutes ago. It appears, though, that other people are coming and going since we got here about an hour and a half ago. I checked with authorities, and they are telling me they are still trying to get to the bottom of what happened. All we can confirm at this point is that one person, a student, has been arrested for um, possessing a gun and that gun discharging in the gymnasium in the back of the school. Uh, there is a chance, I'm told, that other students will be arrested as well. That gun went off around lunchtime in the gym in a backpack. Uh, our chopper was over the scene within minutes where you can see people gathering outside the main building and authorities responding. We did talk to one student, the student body president, Sydney Fishback, who was out here. She talked about uh, how this will affect negative, negatively the image of the school. I'd like to hope that our uh, students that were involved uh, realize how serious it was and how serious it affected everybody. Um, and the students that had to deal with all of it, um, they make sure that they know that this is a serious thing and make sure it doesn't happen again. Fortunately, no one was hurt, we are told. Uh, we don't know what kind of gun it is. Uh, we've asked about whether this was an accidental discharge. It appears that's the case at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone was threatened. Either way, there should not have been a gun here on campus, especially in the hands of a student. We'll have more coming up at 5. Live in 40, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.